The media called. A reporter wants to interview you. So your mind is racing. What's he going to ask me? Will he edit my comments or otherwise make me look foolish? I spent 20 years as a television journalist interviewing thousands of leaders like you. Some of those interviews were terrific, but sadly, many leaders blew it. Wordiness, nervousness, lack of preparation, sometimes arrogance, sabotage their opportunity to shine. You see, a media interview is just that, an opportunity. You are given a platform to deliver a specific message that can bolster your organization and even your leadership. So I'd like to share with you three techniques to help you master your media messages. Number one, anticipate their questions. Make a list of three questions that you would like to be asked and three questions that you would least like to be asked. The three questions that you want to answer are your key messages. I'll share how to develop those in a moment. But first, let's identify those three questions that you don't want to be asked. That's crucial because a good reporter will probe. She may be assigned to uncover exactly what it is you are trying to keep a lid on. Flesh out those answers in advance. It's crucial before you meet the media. Number two, bridge to the positive. Bridging. You see, it's a communication technique. It transitions you from unwelcome questions into positive answers. Think of it as this connective tissue, a bridge. To bridge successfully, you can use the ABC method. Answer, bridge, context. For example, if the reporter's question is, what was your return on sales last quarter? Start with A, an answer. For competitive reasons, I can't share a specific number. And then you move on to the bridge. But let me put this into perspective. Now go to C, the context. We shattered our goals and the future is very promising. A, B, C, answer, bridge, context. If you bridge to a message that is meaty enough or colorful enough, most reporters will be very satisfied. You will dodge a bullet and you'll deliver a positive punch. Finally, number three, home three sound bites. Ah oh, yes, I'm sensing your resistance. You're thinking that sound bites are some kind of glib one-liners. Not this type. Solid sound bites are a potent tool for delivering key messages. Just think of them as if they are x-rays. They are magnetic. These ideas are thoughts that are honed their essence. They energize both reporters and audiences, and that is what you want. In today's impatient, distracted world, it is imperative that you deliver quick messages that will stick. So you're asking yourself, how do I develop these sound bites? Remember those three questions that you were to write down that you wanted to be asked? Well, answer them. At first, your responses are going to be wordy or confusing, but don't let the curse of knowledge derail you. Simplicity is a complex business. These are your key messages. Sharpen those key messages until they're one sentence each. You can expand on them after the reporter responds. But using this approach, you will find that sound bites can truly be sound answers. And one last thing. Don't fall for off the record. There is no such thing ever. I'm Connie Deacon. Thanks for watching.